Portugal's tennis fans were looking forward to another entertaining day at the Millennium Estoril Open with four second round matches lined up on Thursday. And it was a battle of the lucky losers that kicked things off on Estadio Millennium as Uruguay's Pablo Cuevas took on Italian Filippo Baldi for a spot in the last eight. Cuevas made a fast start and then used his experience well during a much tighter second set en route to a 6-2, 7-5 victory and his fifth clay court quarter-final of the year. Earlier in the week, defending champion Jair Souza had enjoyed a helicopter tour of the Portuguese coastline, while his second round opponent, Belgian David Goffin, had been meeting his fans in between training sessions on the Portuguese clay. Belgian former world number seven made a fast start and kept the quality coming. All in all, he broke four times on his way to taking the opening set, six games to three. Portuguese number one was doing everything he could to hang on at the start of the second set with Goffin pushing hard for another break of serve. Finally came in the fifth game and the fourth seed never looked back, growing with confidence as the finish line came into sight before completing a 6-3, 6-2 victory. So I'm really happy because it's never easy. Uh, you have a, a lot of pressure when you play uh, with uh, the crowd against you and, and especially against Joao, who was such a great fighter. So I was ready to fight, and, uh, but at the end it's a, it's a great match. Goffin's opponent in the quarterfinals would be the winner of the next match on court that saw Argentine Leonardo Maia face Tunisia's Malak Jaziri. A tight serve-dominated opening set went the way of Jaziri on a tie-break and from there on it was surprisingly one-sided. The world number 75 winning 7-6, 6-1 to move into his second quarter-final of 2019. As the sun sets on the Portuguese Riviera, Japan's Yoshihito Nishioka and 2018 finalist Francis Tiafo took centre stage, battling for the last remaining quarter-final spot. The Japanese world number 71 cruised through the first set and quickly took control of the second with tennis like this. Despite trading by a set and 3-1, Tiafo dug in and won five games in a row to take the second set and with it force a decider. When he held two match points serving for the match at 5-4, it looked like the 21-year-old American was home and dry but both chances to close the match slipped away. Nishioka was then just two points away from victory when he led 5-3 in the deciding tiebreak. But this time it was TFO who responded just in time to finally get over the line 2-6, 6-3, 7-6. Got a good rhythm there for a while, um, you know, served for it, messed up that game and then yeah, and then it got real complicated down 5-3 in the breaker. I think, honestly, throwing my racket down at that point kind of freed me up, kind of just, you know, let me play. I was getting, starting to get a little tight there. And, yeah, but I just kept digging, kept digging. and stayed, stayed disciplined, staying in long rallies, even though I don't like that. I'm very tired right now. Um, but, you know, those, those matches are big. You definitely need those.